All right, now with the closed network text that just ended, I know everyone is fiending for some more tech and information. With that said, please welcome to the stage Kasuhiro Harada, Michael Murray, and Kasumi Yogi to tell us more. Hey, everybody at Evo, how's it going? All right, we love to hear it. We love to hear it. All right, we have our Tech in A panel today, and joining us today are none other than the Tekken Project director and producer Katsuhiro Harada and Michael Murray. Gentlemen, good afternoon. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good, thank you. Uh, but I'm so sleepy now <laughs> because jet lag. I'm so sleepy. <laughs> I'm doing good. I'm glad to be here to see this year's Evo uh, bigger than, and better than ever. So looking forward to some interesting matches this weekend. Awesome. Cool. So hopefully we can wake Karatas on up with some cool stuff that we have for you today regarding our closed network test that we just concluded last weekend. Let's take a look. Let's start. Right. So, uh, 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 so we just concluded the uh, CNT test uh, spread out over two weeks, and we'd like to thank everyone who participated. Yes, yeah, so once again, everybody, thank you so much for your participation. Thank you so much for signing up, and thank you so much for participating. We got so much information that we are super excited to share with you all. We're going to give you a little bite-sized look right now. で、ま、今日とあしたの uh, today is going to be kind of an overview of some of the key findings that we think uh, people might be interested in that we found out during the test uh, and also some of our thoughts on what we plan to do with that data um, and then tomorrow we'll dive, dive deeper into some of the more uh, uh, the nit and grit of the game I guess you could say. All right cool let's get started with the first stats that we have for the closed network test. So the closed network test was conducted um, using the closed network te test version of Tekken 8. Excuse me, sorry everybody. And through competitive online play, players were able to experience the new aggressive battle system, which represents the battle concept of Tekken 8. So can you guys tell us a little bit about what that aggressive battle system is? That's an aggressive battle system. Uh, sorry, I'm getting mixed up in English. <laughs> So this time, uh, you know, we wanted to really focus on aggressive battle system and the, the whole uh, new design mechanics have been kind of tailored around that. Uh, the new heat system, which players can trigger at any time, once per round, uh, which makes the character's abilities even stand out more and adds more depth uh, to the individual uh, elements that each character possesses. So that's uh, one of the biggest uh, main changes for this time in Tekken 8. Cool. So we have some stats for you about the number of testers. Tell us about this number. What led you guys to choose like this number and stuff like that? So this is quite a lot of people are very many. Well, if you look at the graph, you can see that the percentage is about 300% of the population. So it's quite a lot of people who are not able to get out of the way. So it's quite a lot of people who are not able to get out so you can see the number of applicants was uh, quite a bit uh, and the people that actually got in uh, is a smaller percentage of that. Uh, so you can see that it's overwhelmingly 300% uh, applied uh, in re relation to how many s slots were open. So we were able to gather a lot of useful data uh, because so many people applied and got in. Tell us a little bit about the different weekends because obviously there may have been difference in participation due to the platforms that were used in week one versus week two. So let's look a little bit at these stats. Week 
まあデータになりますというところでこれワイヤードといわゆる有線と w i f i のえまあ比率を見たまあ,あと地域別で見た表になります。So, this is a kind of an interesting table of data.、Uh, so, keep in mind for people who、uh, don't know about, a lot about the CNT, the first week was、uh, PlayStation 5 only, and then the second week we opened it up to other platforms,、uh, Xbox and Steam. So,、uh, this data shows the percentage of、uh, wired players and, and people who are playing on Wi Fi、uh, with it broken down by、uh, area and region. The, えっとまあ、もちろんね、皆さんご存知の通り。えー、優先欄でやってもらった方が、えー、非常にエラーもバケットロスも少なく遊べるんですけど、まあ、PS5 の時はだいたいやっぱり4割超えるぐらい、えー、w i f i が、えー、のプレイヤーがいたってことになりますね。So obviously,、uh, we don't need to tell everyone here at EVO that、uh, it's optimal to play on a wired LAN connection because of the packet loss and such that can occur on w i f i Uh, but when we're looking at the data, we can still see during the first week on PlayStation 5, you had、uh, a little bit more than 40% of people played on Wi Fi. ゲーミングノートの人もいるんですけどどっちかというと結構デスクトップの PC でやる人が多かったのでそれで優先率がこの PC によって引っ張られて上がっているとだから実際には実はウィーク2も PC を除けばウィーク1と同じぐらい w i f i がいたのでコンソールユーザーは意外とやっぱり w i f i 率が 40% 超えているというのは変わらなかったですね。Another interesting point to note is on week two, when we opened up crossplay、uh, to all the different platforms, you see that、uh, Wi Fi drops to like 24, 25%, right?、Uh, and this is not because it's the second week per se, but mainly because due to the Steam players on PC.、Uh, and we're, we're, we have a hypothesis that a lot of people maybe have more higher end PCs as they're looking to play the game、uh, at a higher level of graphics this time around. So, probably not on gaming notebooks as much as you know, proper desktop. So, as such, they're probably more likely to、uh, have a wired connection, right? So, that said, it's not like、uh, PlayStation is the only one that's 40%.、Uh, the correct way to look at it would be consoles in general tend to, tend to have a higher、uh, Wi Fi usage percentage. Does any of this Wi Fi versus wired information affect anything regarding the development of the game itself? Or is this just general information that is just good for us to know? Yes, so this is it. So, in this case, the wired and Wi Fi are the same. The same way, 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 the same way. w i f i なんか優先なんかで結構差が出たのでそこはもうちょっと内部のパラメータをいじって w i f i でも快適にしようというふうに思ってます、まあ、ただやっぱりワイヤードにしてもらった方がよりベターなのでぜひ皆さんあのこれを機会に次世代機せっかくいいマシンがあるのでワイ,あのワイヤードにしてもらえば他の格闘ゲームも含めて快適になりますよってことはお知らせしておきたいなと思います So you know obviously、uh, we were able to see firsthand as we were all playing the test at the time as well Uh, how different it is when you have a wired connection compared to、uh, wireless, right? Or Wi Fi. So, obviously, it's much,、uh, it feels much more responsive when you have it playing on the LAN cable inserted, etc.、Um, and you can, this is not just because of the ping, because the ping could be the same.、Uh, you know, it shows you in game, right? But it's because of the packet loss that occurs during Wi Fi that makes the experience、uh, you know, less、uh, optimal on Wi Fi. Uh, that said, we still really hope that most people try to、uh, play on a wired connection,、uh, but we still do hope to try, try to tweak the settings a little bit、uh, to try to cover up、uh, packet loss with wherever we can. Cool, that's awesome. So we noticed that when we're playing the, when we're playing the test, there were two different icons that showed up. So we could tell the difference between someone who is playing on a wired connection versus someone who's playing on the Wi Fi connection. Um, tell us a little bit about the intention behind that. What is, what is the reason for that?、Uh, the indicator in game, you mean? 
the wired connection versus Wi-Fi um, icon when you're connecting to somebody. I can't hear you. What? The network status display. Uh, ah, tell us a little bit about display. that. Uh, status display. And see, they can't hear. No, ah, can't hear us. Okay, okay. So yeah, what we're looking at here is you can see this shows up on the bottom right uh, of the screen, and it'll tell you the RT, which is your overall ping, right? So that is kind of an indicator for both Wi-Fi and wired. It'll show you the delay frames, how many frames are rolling back depending on your connection, etc. Or sorry, that's the delay frames because of uh, the connection status. And then roll frames uh, all the way to the right shows how many rollbacks are occurring, like how many frames of rollback, right? And then the one you really want to pay attention to, obviously, is in red. Uh, and this is the one on the top is the optimal uh, LAN connection, where the one on the bottom is uh, wireless. And the one on the far right will we. Uh, and the one on the right, we're going to explain in a later slide, so uh, wait a second, please. まあ、あの、今回基本的にはWiFi でも割とね、あの、快適にプレイできるようには極力してあるんですけど、やっぱりエラーの率はあの、どうしても通信の方式上どうしてもエラーが出やがちパケットロスが出やがちなので、え、
、えー、と実は鉄拳ってあのロード画面で3秒ぐらいロードしてるんですけどその,その3秒のうちにできるだけシェーダーをウォームアップの機能を入れてるんですね実はプリ,プリローディングみたいなことやってやってるんですけどそれもちょっと足りないみたいなんでここは我々の課題としてもうちょっと、えー、シェーダーウォーミングアップみたいなところことをもうちょっと、えー、長く取るのか、えー、別の方法「ゴールオブデューティー」みたいに。自分で選んで最初に読んじゃうとかそういうことはできないかなってことは今後検討していこうと思ってます。And so, another thing is the, the game, you know, the effects are very over the top, right? So, on certain stages or certain、uh, characters' effects, it could cause the machine to slow down a little bit as well.、Uh, there's also maybe not that well known, but the first time that the game is loading a certain、uh, effect, that also it needs to load up first, which will cause it to slow down.、Uh, so, you know, while we're loading this, the game, the, the loading screen, we try to load all the shaders and stuff that we need. But、uh, there's still instances where that will occur for the first time.、Uh, so that's another thing to take into a, a, account. It's really interesting. So now that we have these icons for Steam, people don't have any excuses anymore. All right, next slide, everybody. I mean, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. えーとまあ、こういうちょっとチューニングできるっていうのはあるんですけど割と今回珍しいのは、えー、対戦相手と自分がこう例えばレスポンス重視っていうのとグラフィック重視っていうのを別々で選んでても、まあ、もしくは標準っていうのをどれを選んでてもお互いができるだけ影響しない範囲で自分の設定をちゃんと優先してゲーム上はスムースにできるっていうような仕組みでこのオプションを入れてます。So, this feature is also quite interesting as you can kind of customize your experience by choosing to prioritize graphics or response. So,、uh, and this is supposed to just affect you and not your opponent. Yeah, it's a little bit of a problem. I'm going to go to the next one. 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 I'm going to go to いわゆる一般的なゲームのグラフィック優先という意味ではなくて、えー、こと 3D 格闘ゲームにおいてはこのフルアニメーションなのでこのフルアニメーションの、えー、いわゆる 2D 格闘のリミテッドアニメーションに比べると非常にこうスムースかつ移動量が多いんですね、鉄拳って。だからそれで、えー、と少しでも、えー、例えばコマ落ちしたりロールバックしたときに、えー、ちょっとぶれ,ぶれて見えちゃうとか止まって一瞬止まったように見えちゃうみたいなのを。軽減する意味でのグラフィックつまりアニメーションを優先みたいな意味合いの方が強いです。So, first off, many people it seemed in the CNT didn't even notice this feature was in a game. So, we'd like many people to check it out when they have the, the chance next time. But not just that, we felt like it wasn't fully understood because there's something similar in other games that lets you prioritize like the, the frame rate or the resolution, right? right. This is not that. What this is, is it's all about、uh, because Tekken is a 3D fighter, right? The animations are more fluid、uh, and they, they、uh, cover more distance than, for example, 2D fighters.、Mm -hmm. So, what this is, is if you turn on the, the graphic priority, then it's not going to be so stuttery、uh, when you have rollbacks or the connection jitters or et cetera. It's going to try to smooth out the animation as much as possible. Where if you prioritize response, Maybe you know, it'll, be a little, it'll look a little bit jittery, but you'll feel like it it's responds quicker. So it's a little bit different than other games. So, what do you think about the network of 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 the n e t えー、ともうユーザーが直接そのパラメータのテーブル自体を数字を入れて入力してやってそれはお互い対戦相手と自分が好きな数字でやっても整合性が合うような仕組みに今なっているので、まあ、それもやろうと思ったらできるので、まあ、そこら辺そこまでユーザーが求めるかどうかみたいなところをみんなのフィードバックとか見ながら決めていこうかなと思っています。Uh, right now, it's just you know, prioritize one or the other, but we can actually have it more、uh, digital where you have various different stages of each setting, etc.、Um, so, if that's something that 
we get a lot of feedback that people want more control of. That's something we may end up uh, tune, tuning before the release. Uh, so yeah, if you have any feedback, let us know. まあなんでできるだけね僕らの方でフィックスしたもうこれがベストですよみたいなことができればいいとは思ってるんですけどもちろんそれを目指してはやってるんですけどまあユーザーがあのちょっと触って触れる余地ある程度アジャストできる余地はやっぱり残した方がユーザーも嬉しいかなっていうのがあるんでえっとまあそこら辺みんなの意見聞きながら、え。ーもう少しどうするかっていうのは、えー、製品までに考えてもちろん製品出した後もみんなのフィードバックでちょっと変えていこうかと思ってます。So obviously we're gonna try to you know make all the features look and feel、uh, like we think is optimal experience, right? But if users feel like they want even more options or, or more、uh, bells and whistles and switches or whatever you want to call it,、uh, they can you know let us know the feedback. Yeah, it was really cool because in the middle of the closed network test, Haradasan, you actually posted on Twitter about the setting and you taught people about what the different settings do. And there were a lot of people who appreciated that and tried it out because of that. So your responsiveness is super appreciated by the community. So, this is like a comment that I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, ユーザーのせいにしてるみたいなわけわかんないこと言ってる人いますけどそういうことじゃないですからねあのより快適にするために自分の PC のスペックに合わせて設定をじゃあ変えた方がいいねとか自分の、えっと、プレイスタイルだったりとかもうちょっと回線の状態に合わせて自分のアジャストできる余地をあくまで僕こっちがオプションとして用意できた方がいいだろうと思ってやってるそうそうそうそういうことなんであの別にあなたのせいにしてるわけじゃないですよ。So, you know, there's many comments in... Re、regards to this, and, and some people maybe misunderstand that we're, we're trying to make the user the, the bad person that, of why they don't have a, a good connection, etc. Right. That's not the case. We're just trying to make the game as transparent as possible so they have more options to figure out what's wrong so they can address it and make the, the best experience or the, you know, the optimal settings for, the, for each individual user. So, PS5 Xbox ものはかなり安定してるんですよ今回,で今回次世代機はかそういう意味で言うとコンソールは結構逆に安定してて PC は結構性能によってかなりそこのばらつきが出るってことですよねそれがやっぱり今までの世代のゲームと次世代機の差なので PC ユーザーにとってはそういういろんな自分の状態がどうなのかって分かりやすいその目安となる、あのー、表示とかっていうのはとても重要な情報になってくると思うんですよユーザーにとっても。So, this is especially helpful for PC because when you're looking at the consoles, it's, it's a set like spec, right? right. So, it's pretty、uh, stable when you're playing between two different consoles. It's when you're playing on PC where there's a variety of different combinations of graphic cards and,、right. and hardware, et cetera, and,、uh, and you know, how, how powerful the machines are. So, it's more of、uh, people can look at these tools and kind of fine tune. The environment mainly for PC. All right, now going to our next slide the effect saturation setting. Tell us about that. これはエフェクト結構もう慣れたから全然今のでいいよっていう人も多いんですけど逆にやっぱり初めてやった人すごい眩しいとかあるんでえっとエフェクトの軌道を調整できるようにこれしてするオプションが入ってるんですでこれもうちょっと製品版の時にはえうまくアジャストしようと思ってて標準を、えー、ともう少しちゃんとあんまりうるさくなくてまぶしくないぐらいに、えー、しといて、えー、そこからもう少しさらに、えー、下げたいだったりもう少し上げたいみたいなオプションにしようと思ってるんで今とちょっと見た目見かけは、えー、少し変わるかなと思ってます。So many people have already gotten used to the、uh, over the top effects of Tekken 8、uh, but some people maybe would like to dial it down a bit and so Obviously, we have this option in game for them to do that.、Uh, right now, the default is kind of、uh, very flashy. So, we are thinking maybe as a result of the CNT feedback, we might dial it down a little bit, and then the user can choose whether they want to you know, push it up higher or if they want to decrease it. This is the case that you can see in the monitor, and you can see it in the case of the monitor, and you can see it in the case of the m o アジャストできる余地を入れとこうという発想でやってます。And so maybe、uh, many people didn't notice that this is actually an option in the game. So、uh, next time you get your hands on the game, 
uh, perhaps uh, take a look at it and uh, you can adjust it for your own monitor or uh, the environment that you're using. Right. All right, guys. So we have been talking about so many cool things that we are actually running out of time. So let's try to get through the rest of these slides about the CNT because we have so much stuff to share. All right. So let's get started with. Uh, so, uh, we'll have more details for you tomorrow regarding the CNT, you know, fine, uh, detailed stuff. Uh, let's go with a little bit more light and fun topic here. Yeah. Right. So, the top eight playable, usable, playable character usage ranking in CNT. So, what characters were used the most? So Harada san and Michael are going to go through that for you guys right now. Okay. So, so uh, first off, we have uh, in eighth place is Lily, right? So maybe I don't know if that's uh, if that's a, a surprise to you or not. But you can also tell that depending on the different regions, it's also quite different. Uh, but overall, you know, she tends to be between uh, uh, first in some regions actually. So. She's uh, quite popular in South America, <laughs> especially, right? Let's go with uh, number seven. Next slide, please. Higher, but maybe it depends on the region, right? Yep. Africa looks like what second place? Yeah. Yep. Nice. Africa's second place. Okay, ja next slide please. Ah, Jun ga 6 desu. So Jun is coming in sixth place, right? Kore mo mou chotto agaru ka na to omotta dakedo, ma igai to ochitsukimashita. So Harada was saying he was surprised. She, he thought she would be higher up as did I cuz it's the first time she's uh right. returning after a while, right? Mm -hmm. And uh you know the story trailers that we showed off, it was but it really depends on the the uh, area, right? For example, North America, I think she's quite popular. Fifth place for Brian, right? Yeah. He was uh, a you know, a lot of uh, talks around in Brian, I guess. Uh, he is a favorite of several well-known players like me, et cetera, right? And uh, I think Brad is mentioning the, the taunt is one of the, the main topics for, for Brian, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, next slide. Hi. King, uh, King, we heard some cheers from the crowd when King hit the screen. King is a good one. King is a good one. This is kind of expected. You know, we've typically seen King uh, very popular across uh, regions, normally around third to fourth place. So, yeah, this this feels about right. So as we head into our top three. Yeah, three. Next slide. Okay. Ah, uh, Baran. Baran. Just. So this is a bit surprising. We didn't think Quaran would come up uh, so high in the ranking, but uh, you know his moves. He's got an uh, emphasis on the low attacks uh, when he's in the heat state, but also the chip damage he's uh, able to use. But you know, not also just his effects are quite cool. You know, the the wind looking effects. Yeah. It uh, accompanies kick, so uh, yeah, I, I guess I can understand that. Game balance, don't worry about it. It's it's still a work in progress. So. <laughs> All right, let's hit second place then. Next slide. Ah, Niwa Kazuya. Kazuya. Yeah, that's fitting. I thought. That's kind of expected, right? Because you know he is you know one of the title characters. Demo Mishima te. It's perhaps that uh, on the character select screen, the cursor defaults to him, right? So, because we were just discussing, he is a Mishima, which typically takes a lot of uh, precise uh, inputs for his main moves and the way he's played, right? 
So it, it is a bit surprising he's number two from a, a play style perspective. But if you're going strictly from the character styling and how badass he looks this time, I, I guess I can, I can understand that. Oh, Personally, I, I used him the most during CT. <laughs> so. All right. So uh, before we hit first place, can I get some guesses from people? Like, who do you think is getting first place? I hear Asuka. All right, like for about like a hundred people just said Jin. So let's take a look at what our first place is. Okay. Hi, Kazama Jin. It is Jin. So it's so so He's very popular worldwide, right? Asia, 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 So he's mainly first place everywhere except for some reason Asia, huh? I wonder wh why. Second place. Second place to what? Do you, do you remember? Oh, in Asia? Yeah. Who was first I didn't in catch Asia? It. Was it Kazuya, I think? So I guess uh, Asia likes the, the bad characters, huh? All right, cool. But yeah, I mean, what do you expect? He's the main character this time. Uh, his costume is, it looks incredible. His play style is, is tweaked a lot. The special effects I, I like quite a lot. Uh, he's kind of got partial control over the devil and he can change. Uh, whenever he wants, so you see the wing come out just partially during the special moves, uh, his eye glowing, etc. He's got a lot of cool touch to him. So yeah, he's he would be my favorite pick as well. That jacket's really cool. I feel like that's kind of like a you jacket. I feel like you could rock that jacket. So next we got. Uh, so we'll be continuing this again. Uh, this was just kind of an overview of some of the main details we thought people would want to know about the CNT and the feedback, right? So tomorrow we'll be diving even deeper. So we got a bunch of data that we took on the back end, and I'm sure that all you Tekken heads out there are going to love to see uh, what we have in store. So check it out tomorrow at 1 p.m., I believe it is, uh, at the Bandai Namco Entertainment booth. Yep, not only that, but our Bandai Namco Entertainment booth is super popping right now. We have a bunch of stuff. You can play Tekken 8. If you come back tomorrow, you can win and you play Tekken 8. You can get a shirt. You can get a lanyard. You can get, well, we actually have an activation at the booth tomorrow where you can come to the booth. And if you are able to stay on the setup by not losing three times in a row, you can get a super, super limited Tekken 8 water bottle. And it's actually the only way you can get it right now. We didn't even make too many because, you know, we wanted to be competitive. So we'll see you all tomorrow at the booth for both Winter Stays On and the Tekken Talk. But for now, we're going to take it to the pools. Guys, have you, do you have anything closing to say? I'm looking the comments on Twitter and I'm like, Eh, there's no trailer, but I'm like, It's Friday. I'm like, 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 so, so he's um he's not supposed to look at the comments on Twitch, but uh, we're past that, uh, and they don't they don't disappoint, right? Many people mentioning no trailer. Uh, it is Friday. This is a panel. Please keep that in mind, and we'll have more exciting info tomorrow. Uh, no trailer tomorrow either, so hold your so, horses. Well, deep na. <laughs> <laughs> panel deep na deep na so it's just more a, a deep dive into more Tekken data and uh, background into the game. Maybe give you guys some insight on what we're thinking uh, leading up to the release. So uh, chill out a bit, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Yep. yep. Thank you yep. very much, everybody, and enjoy your Evo.